Good evening. It's Herbert again. Good old Herb and his glue stick. It's really more of a bottle than a stick. Well, it does have a stick inside of it. Guess that counts. How you doing, silly? And Stocky and Panzer 4 over on YouTube. Hope you're all doing well. As you can see, here's some tracks I installed already. You can probably also see that they very slightly curve that way. Which is kind of annoying. But I blame... Uh, I blame the children. It's the children who are wrong. <laughs> you see, I wasn't wrong. Yeah, you were right. I'm going to glue the rest of the tracks on, though, because otherwise we're going to have a like a half-tracked vehicle and not in the good way. Now I need to remember the way I actually did it. I did the front individual links first. And we need eight of those, I think. Yes. Three plus three plus two is eight. This music's making me feel triumphant. And we'll take this length. Which will go down to the road wheels. Lincoln Blank. Heroic track cutting. Well, I am a hero of track cuttery. Which is a real thing. Believe it or not. It's always the children. They're always no good punks. I'm assuming these go on the same way as the other side, like that. So I'm only really going to bother cleaning up the uh, outside side. And the ends and bits that need to be cleaned up to go together. <laughs> the second I turned 18, they started running onto my lawn. They do that. Wretched punks. They're probably on my lawn right now. Too much off. That would be horrendous. Uh. <laughs> they, they always get the best models as, as a reward on model shows. Damn those children. Maybe, uh... Maybe we need to somehow look like children to get the best models ourselves. Hello, knife but Erpa Nubbins. How's the glue in Australia? It's very gluey. I'm knife but Erpa Nubbins. They call me that on account of my knifing.
take that and put it over there. I did think about cleaning up a bunch of the track links before starting, but then I didn't bother. What a lazy shithead. I did get my Christmas ham. It was delicious. In your dad's eyes, I play with toys, so I believe I look like a child and off. Fair, I guess. I mean, not really. People who don't realize that models aren't exactly toys are a bit dense. I guess at least these links aren't too difficult to clean up. There's only really the little nubbins you get from clipping them out. Oh, I caught that with my shirt. No feeding the carpet monster today. Vespid Centurion. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you like Photo Etch. You ate too much. Too much at Christmas. Just according to plan. <laughs> Glorious. Children get best models. You are talking about the female bikini models, right? And I'm not an adult as well. I mean, I don't think that's what they were talking about. I should probably film myself assembling this because I neglected to do so when I put the first set on. Neglectorinos. This isn't glue. It looks like glue, almost. It's not glue. I guess the way to do this would be to take the sprocket off. So I will. That might make it slightly easier. I'm only glue for photo etch, so I wonder if it will help. I would hope so. Is it just like fancy rebranded super glue? Uh. Am I doing this the same way as the other side? That is the question. Looks like I am. Man, those sprocket teeth look like they are slightly out. Better not be. They are a bit. You can tell by where they're sitting in the little holes. But it's not quite enough to be terrible. Probably. Butt sauce. 
bot source is right. Actually want one under there as well. That's not completely glued on. Damn it. Why am I so incompetent? Yes, yeah, so you sit like that. Bot sauce. You know what's really annoying about YouTube streaming is it puts that heart thing right over the text. I have to look in the thing. I guess I can't see it. Mm, that's annoying. People making the show half the word is missing, though. Continents must be stinky. I mean, yeah, but just ignore it. This is some sort of peaceful zen uh, track assembly music. Because that's what track assembly is. Peaceful and zenful. Hey Doc, how you doing? Don't try to put it on backwards, it will not work. Is that all eight? Already? <laughs> it feels like I've done nothing at all. Nothing at all. The music is to help keep you on track. Stick this on the bottom. And glue the bit in front of it on. And hopefully that's enough to hold it in there. With a, a little bit of Flexibility. That's what we need. Flexibility. Sometimes the one piece plastic tracks are exactly what the doctor ordered. One, the type of tracks the doctor never orders, though, is rubber band tracks. This is the right part, isn't it? Hmm. Where's the little numbery doover? Under my thumb. It isn't the right piece. We want this one, number two. Oh well. At least I realized only halfway through. Now 
There's also another one to go in front of it. Number seven. B7. Ah, bees. Rubber band tracks, I don't... I don't get why people love rubber band tracks, but sometimes they're okay if they're for a track with a tank with uh, high tension, I guess. No sag in the tracks. They're painful to try and attach together, though, in my experience. And people are always like, yeah, but you gotta melt them with a lighter. Who the fuck has a lighter in 2023? And I refuse to staple them together because it looks like shit. Oh. Why is it so hard to get my clipper into a small area? And these will go this way around. So this is the bad side. The bad side. More ways to inhale the healthy model chemicals. I'd rather not inhale the healthy model chemicals. a model without a skirt it's a stupid kit i mean when you put it that way i disagree Number B17. Hope it doesn't fly off. <laughs> uh, only the finest jokes here. a bit. And another bit. Just the worst. If you build a dingo, an SDKF said triple two, or a jeep, 
I guarantee you won't have problems with rubber band tracks. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure if I believe you. You might be lying for whatever reason. Next thing to do is put this on, but not glue it into place. Should press record on this, really. Looks like that should be very slightly tilted that way. <laughs> Thought I'd lost the long length of tracks, long length of tracks uh, again. That looks like should fit pretty good. Would be nice if there was some keying, which I think would be nice for any set of Lincoln length tracks. But the, the mold, modeled in sag kind of works like that anyway. Do I have the instructions online for this kit? I do not. I'd assume you could probably find them, but since I've got the booklet, I have no need to, so I didn't. Hey, that doesn't look right. It's like the sprocket was at an angle. I don't like that. Actually, I remember from putting it together, this had a weird uh, angle to it. I should have remembered that. May have to do a bit of holding just to let it know that you, you really care, you know? And then we need more individual links. Got two here. I don't know if this one is different somehow. Oh, it's got the pin in it. That must be a spare link or something. Uh, excuse me. Uh, three at the front. And we will need... 
11 for the real. Hmm. That sure is a lot. Good burp-a-derp. That's not what they call me. They call me bad burp-a-derp. <laughs> Prefer being confused. Not me. I'm confused enough in daily life as it is. having concerns that maybe that's not far enough back, but it is what it is, as the youth say. Postal box triple six do things. Get there by portals. You've confused me. Who would have thought Zvezda is gonna be this detailed? Hmm. I mean, sometimes you'd be surprised. I haven't really thought about Zvezda, but apparently their newer kits are much better than their old ones. At least in, like, larger scales, is what I've heard. I have to get rid of all the big nobbins before I decide which side is the one that actually needs proper cleanup. To save myself valuable seconds, I'm only going to clean up the outside bit. could use those seconds for other things, like being confused and yelling at clouds. Probably should hold on to the knife better than that.
Do the mailmen talk backwards? Why would they talk backwards? I don't get it. I'm not confused at... Wait, what do I want to say? Trekan is right. Trekan knows it. According to bad religion, uh, confusion is a fundamental state of being. about these three that go here. of Vesta old kits are old Gravel and Eastern Express kits. I don't think I've even heard of Eastern Express. But that wouldn't surprise me. I think the only large-scale uh, kit from Zvezda I've built was an older one. I think it was actually the uh, World of Tanks branded T-34 that I built and somebody got angry at me for putting metal tracks on it. Okay, that's a bit... Hmm, maybe I glue these together. And then put it on. That's in frame in the camera enough, surely. Editing her, that's gonna be annoyed at me. Do I wash my models before assembly? Generally, no, because usually they don't need it. Plastic models, anyway. If they feel greasy or weird, I'll wash them. Probably gonna. That'll stay on, surely. A little bit more glue just because the glue god demands it. Praise the glue god. That's meant to reach all the way back to the... It looks like it. that's probably about right, according to the diagram. Therefore it is! I think you build a Panzer 4H and a T-35 by Zvezda, both in 72nd. I think the, um, the one I'm thinking of with the met that I put the metal tracks on was 35th scale. Excuse me, but it could have been something entirely different. I'm old and forgetful. Uh, do I have enough links? I think I'm one short for what I want on this sprue. More than one. I'll figure it out one day. Oh, 
I don't need that. Why am I going to clip that out? Never trust the diagram, it always lies. That's not true. They wouldn't lie to me. Not old trusty diagram. One day all I need is that air I breathe and to figure it out. Catchy song. Is that enough? Uh, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. That seems like the amount I need. Eleven is a big number for a dunce like me, though. Eleven is more than eight. It is true, they say. And that went on the floor. Now I'm going to stand on it. Neat. Speaking of, like, diagrams lying and stuff, I kind of wonder if it might be funny or fun to just buy a kit and try to put it together without ever looking at the instructions. I might do that. Not an expensive kit, of course. Maybe if I made a video about that, somebody would get all butt blasted and I could have a chuckle at their expense. I've already cleaned that one up. Did I finish that? Yep. It's already been 44 minutes. I'm pretty sure I got the other set on in like 30. 
so I'm going extra slow. <laughs> I mean, if it's a hundred scale, it should yeah, you should be pretty easy to do that. I don't think it will be quite as entertaining just doing like a fifteen millimeter or a one seventy seven hundred and twenty fifth one. Is that even a scale? I mean, I could I could definitely easily build this two hundred eighty fifth scale. Uh, universal carrier. Pretty sure you could build any Airfix 72nd World War II kit without in without the destructions. Maybe. It's probably not something I'm ever actually going to do. Because in, in reality, it'll probably end up being me that gets annoyed. And I don't like it when I get annoyed. 700th is a good scale to work in. Yeah, sure, if you're building ships and stuff. Maybe I should buy some more ship kits. Maybe I shouldn't. I've been thinking of building the um the Enterprise kit that about 500 years ago was voted for on Patreon. Hundred scale big cat by Zvezda, King Tiger, Yag Tiger, Ferdinand Elephant might be a little bit of a challenge because of the supporting structure. Maybe. Just don't tell me what it is, and I might try to build it as a regular tiger. It might be storming. I think I heard thunder. Somebody could have some really bad gas next door or something, though. Hmm. It's funny because farts. A 3,000th scale diorama, 80 centimeters by 150 centimeters. That sounds pretty cool. What is it a diorama of? I assume like a city or something or like a battlefield. That's cool. Wish my classroom had that sort of thing when I was a child. I assume. Is it for a child's classroom or is it for like military education? Or education? If you want two links at the bottom, and also want this here. Bleh. <laughs> First time you got stupid drunk, you yacked all over the instructions for your USS Constitution kit. Free internet days, so you never finished. I mean, that doesn't sound like a pleasant thing to do. <laughs> uh, who hasn't gotten super wasted and 
thrown up all over stuff you're not meant to throw up on. I glue this on as well. Maybe, maybe it was a mistake to put these ones on before the lot around the wheel. <laughs> That's annoying. It would be better to have, fuck it, maybe I'll just put these two in and hope they bond into the right place. Because it'd be better upside down for the long part, but better right way up for these two. the little SLBs. And the trouble is, now I don't have anything to do for a few seconds while that bonds. It's for army class. It's a piece of land in Africa, a village, army base, airfield, open coal mine, river with a harbour and heavy industry, and all the other gadgets needed. That sounds pretty cool. I guess at that scale you'd fit a whole lot of stuff in, wouldn't you? sounds like I'm about to do something dangerous. I guess that's why my middle name is Danger. <laughs> yeah. 
I saw you and Barnaby killed by bees on purpose. Sorry, your middle name is not Danger. Hey, that's not true. I didn't get killed by the bees. Barnaby did. I'm pretty sure I, I survived the bees because I never attacked the bees. Fucking lousy evaporating glue. How dare. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's get ready to find out that the last, pe last piece won't fit properly. doesn't fit properly. It fits almost properly. <laughs> oh man. You centrifuge the bees, that's attacking. Hmm, good point. But it's not the kind of attacking that the bees have any retaliation for. just sort of nudge this forward a bit. There is a very small gap where there shouldn't be, but that's eh, fine. We can blame battle damage. Or poorly trained Klaus, who uh, has messed the tracks up somehow. That's fine. Fine and dandy. They look a little bit more straight than the other side. I don't know how well you can see it on the overhead, but if I lined that up with the line, it stays straight. But on the other side, it bends outwards a little bit. Not a terrible amount, but you can notice it. How long did that take? 58 minutes minus like four or so for the start of the stream and probably like 10 for waffling. It's not too bad. Very track. Okay, now what? Use a ruler or cock to make the damn track straight. No. That sounds like too much effort. I would have to actually go and buy a ruler. A suitably sized ruler. I have a ruler. But this seems very impractical for working on tracks with. Oh, it's got crap on it too. Cool. 1,000.
That's probably going to fall over now. <laughs> Okay, what the kit wants next is a hundred beers, exactly a hundred, or the metalwork that goes over the tracks. This looks like the part we want. We've got the other parts from the D sprue and the Mc sprue. Obi Wan. <laughs> this part, this one, is Obi Wan. tiny looking MC5 which I will probably do last and I didn't get the D sprue <laughs> what a dunce pretty sure there's only one D sprue Civ 3 music vibes. I haven't played that. Maybe one day. Probably not. Okay, we want 30 and 50 for the first one. I read that totally wrong. 32 and 50. Because there is no 30. Well, there is, but not in the right shape. Okay, get the tiny bit later. Probably want to get rid of the mold line along the outside edge. Actually, a little bit, but I think most of it's going to be covered by the shirts and... Unless I choose to omit some of it, then I'm going to want the mold line gone. Haven't got to the point of deciding if I want to omit any of the skirting yet. Okay. 
can't tell if that's detail or removable garbage. Removable garbage. Seems fine. Seems fine. There's a bit of flashing there. <sighs> Not the hero of the universe. Hey, one of infinity. Watching you build while painting 15 millimeter infantry feels like less of a chore. Good. I'm glad I can help in a small way. That doesn't look right. There we go. Actually, that's pretty good. The little tabs there make it very easy to get this right, probably. glue just to make the glue god smile I'm hoping that's in exactly the right position and that it's not just sitting on the tab weirdly
this goes somewhere. If I could hold on to the parts, that would be a good start. And there's a bit of crud in there that I missed. How could I? Set that over there, and I'll build the other one. Pretty good looking hull top, I think. be easier to put the tiny little bits on once the skirts are on the model. Hmm. Let's pretend I planned that initially. This time, I will not miss any nubbins. But missing nubbins is a terrible crime. These nubbins probably don't really need to be cleaned off because they're on the inside of a fitting tab, but done it anyway. That's just how much I hate nubbins. Herbert the Nubbin Hater. Uh, Trekan is going to leave. I appreciate you, Trekan. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. 
hope hope I can have all the fun one can have with nubbins. The fun is in killing the nubbins. I wonder if using the word killing will make this VOD uh, completely unmonetizable on YouTube. <sighs> Having said it twice, probably. Did I clean this bit up? Looks like I did. And therefore I probably did. Your backlog has 15 mil infantry. I've been... I've primed some 15mm infantry. I've not found the time to do any painting whatsoever over the uh, end of year period. Prime to one something scale figure. The little emote heart thing YouTube has hides that from me. Thanks again, YouTube. But what is the figure? Is it Batman? This end. Hmm. I must have nipped a little bit of the plastic too aggressively there. There's a little, little recess, I guess you'd call it. A little bit of battle damage, as the youth say. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, 
Okay, now those go on the hull. Probably do the one that's been sitting first. And now to find out why it won't go all the way in. like it's the wrong shape at the very end there it may need to be forced message retracted I don't know what you said or if you retracted that yourself is it done yet yes Yes, it is. It sounds like some superhero music or something. Sounded like, now it's over. Guess I'm just gonna have to hold that there for a moment. Adding the fender is a superhuman activity. Mm hmm. Somehow I can do it too. I'm going to just sort of hope that'll stay there. 
now. That's probably all the gluing we need. Probably. Building a Soviet list needs tons of infantry. I'd believe it. The same bullshit on the other side. Ah. That didn't break anything, probably. This one seems even more reluctant than the other one. Chinese restaurant music because adding the fender is a time-consuming job. It is. Man, I could do with some Chinese food. I don't have a place nearby it that delivers Chinese food, especially not at 11 at night. Good old Queensland, where it's 1950 and everybody's in bed ready for church or something in the morning. I'm sure that's fine. It doesn't look quite how I imagine it should look because it sort of dips down from the level of the side part there. It's not gonna really going to be visible anyway once the side skirts are on. I think I am deciding that I will include most of them. Excuse me. It's probably gonna need a bit more holding. Just for a moment. It's starting to look more and more like what it's meant to be at least so i know i'm on the right track
give myself plenty of B-roll to work with. Ah, bees! <clears throat> now, need an F sprue. Might as well bring the entire box around rather than twisting to try and reach it. F for Fudge. Uh, F5. Whatever these are. doodads that go on the hatches the hatch related doodadery this is some very dramatic not doing anything music nearly dropped that. Nice looking kit, judging by a googly eyes search. It is a pretty good kit. I've got a couple of very minor complaints so far, but been pretty good. Music for a lightsaber fight. Give up, Anakin. Spurs. MC5. Well, that's not as small as I thought it would be. I'm looking at the picture. It's still very small, but you know. on that little nubbin. A good nubbin, not a bad nubbin. Should put them on before I lose them.
These might be useful. Handy dandy tweezers from Nine Steps Industries. Uh, they sit on top of the thing. Eh, whatever. Actually, maybe if I look at pictures, I can figure it out better. I'm mostly interested in what angle they're meant to sit at. I'm assuming vertical. Vertical. Maybe don't try to pick them up off the mat with the tweezers. The tweezers were meant to help get them on straight. didn't really help. <laughs> ah, one day I'll get good. isn't it? The trouble with that is I'm having a bit of trouble getting correct grip on the part and letting go of it at the right point. That's probably good enough. to be straight and not twisted at a weird angle. That's probably good enough. If not, battle damage or some children broke it. Hey Matthew Brown, how you doing? Always use wanky tweezers so the chance of shooting them across the room is as big as possible. Make it a boss fight with the carpet monster. I think I'd rather punch myself in the ding-dong over and over. I'm loath to feed even the low-level carpet monsters. get this on without bumping the other part. Not in a neat way.
and get that in place without putting my finger in the glue. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. That'll probably stay on. something hopefully significantly easier these whatever they are look at those hair arms oh. hey kosher bacon jam how you doing i hope you're well test fit this. It's going to be fine and dandy, as the kids say. It wasn't quite as fine and dandy as I thought it would be. If that's meant to sit at an angle like that. There's a nobbin on there from the glue. I'll fix that later. Couldn't sleep, so you wake up to fuck around on the web for a bit, talk to the sister on the other side of the country, and then you'll go back to sleep. Well, I hope when you do go back to sleep that it's good. I've been doing pretty good. I'm still happy about having Christmas ham. Maybe they're meant to be at a slight angle that I don't think they should be at. Don't believe they are, though. That looks bright enough. I'm going to try to scrape that little bump off. Take that. I think that's some pretty good progress. What do you want next, instructions? Ham, you ate my brethren. Your brethren are delicious. If they didn't want to get eaten, they should taste disgusting. Hmm, lots of little detail bits next. That looks like gun internal details, which I will probably omit because there is no point if you can't see it, in my opinion. Or maybe... Well, there's the 
patch for the binoculars that is open, you could possibly look in through that and it might be cool to see a gun gun breach. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll just have to figure out what uh, I can get away with not putting on because it will hold the outside part of the gun as well. <laughs> Noted. What time is it? It is 20 past 11. Hmm. I think that might be it for me. I am retired. Didn't get my midday nap today. So I'm cranky. <laughs> uh, do a small raid. Possibly. Let's see who is doing a Twitch. Because there isn't raiding on YouTube. As far as I can tell. Go to the Speep. No Chinese at midnight. There's no Chinese around here to have at any time of day within, like, reasonable distance. It's really annoying. Uh... Ah. I'm gonna raid Jack Hutto. He's an Australian streamer doing uh, GTA roleplay on Onyx. Clickety click. I will be back tomorrow morning. I my schedule says farm sim, but I might play Railroader because I've been really enjoying Railroader. Uh, I'm gonna make a Vespid Tiger What's in the Box video public once I'm done here because I forgot to do it earlier. Yeah, I know Aussies are the worst. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. If you're on Twitch, say hi to Jack. If you're on YouTube, I don't know. Go watch somebody do... Go watch one of my videos. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Farewell.